Tom Donnelly says the impact a coach makes on a student athlete is, quote, maybe 1%. The many and major successes achieved by the Haverford men's squad during his 40-year head coaching career say otherwise. No maybe about it. Donnelly got his start at Villanova, then took over as head coach at Haverford in 1974. During his time at the school, he has become one of the most influential distance coaches in the country. Numerous world-class athletes have trained under his tutelage, including sub-350 milers Marcus O'Sullivan and Sidney Marie. Despite levels of success that open doors to more high-profile jobs elsewhere, Donnelly has remained loyal to the program he built at Haverford. That program building culminated in 2010 with the Ford's first-ever national cross-country team title. The victory marking the high point in a streak of 22 consecutive NCAA championship appearances for Haverford that continues to this day. During his tenure, Donnelly has coached two athletes to individual cross-country championships, along with 32 different runners who earned All-American honors. Success on the track has been no less plentiful, with 125 athletes tapped for All-America honors, a number that includes 15 outdoor event champions and 10 indoor champs. His teams dominated the conference level too. Since the Centennial Conference was formed in 1994, Donnelly's Fords have claimed 18 of 21 outdoor team titles and 17 of 21 indoor crowns. What to do with that hardware? Well, instead of displaying those trophies on a mantle, the awards often end up getting thrown away. One even drowned in the Mississippi River. Dunking that trophy is typical Tom and maybe explains his unbelievable success at such a small college said four-time Olympian Marcus O'Sullivan. Donnelly has said, quote, I appreciate the gesture, but a coaching award distracts from the essence of a coach's job, which is to educate the students. You can only justify the existence of a team at a college campus if being on the team benefits the athlete's educational experience. It is this dedication to his student athletes and commitment to his teaching and coaching that has made Donnelly so successful for so long. 40 years of greatness. It's Tom Donnelly. Haverford, 2014 Coaches Hall of Fame inductee. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Donnelly. Thank you. I think, turn that off. <laughs> uh, the first thing I'd like to do is, um, you know, recognize our assistant and volunteer coaches at Haverford, you know, the, the, the present ones, uh, Bob Hassan, J.B. Haglin, Yossi Fritz Maurer, and Rob Upton, and, um, and some of the, the coaches we've had in the past, like Rich Crook, uh, Doug Mason, and one special guy that I'm sure all your old timers uh, remember, the guy who I think was the, the greatest coach I've ever had the experience of being around, a gentleman named Irv Monshine. Moon. And Irv came to, uh, to help us out when he was in his 80s. And um, he's taking a little break right now. And when he hits uh, triple digits, I think we'll be back, you know, I, God willing. But um, honestly, like, I'm the guy that has the office and the full time salary. All these other guys are, you know, they have real jobs. And the thing is, when they put their real jobs behind them and come out to Haverford, they're there 100%, and you know the passion, dedication, intelligence, and love of the students that they, they bring to it. Um, you know, it, it just amazes me every year to, just to see that. And I think it's important for people to know, because the kids on our team know this, that um, you know that's the essence of our program. It's all these guys. You know, I'm just part of that. Uh, but what this is really about is the, you know, the young men at, at Haverford College. Like Haverford's a school with, we only have about 500 guys in the school. It's a pretty small school with academic standards, you know, pretty um, typical of what it would take to get into an Ivy League school and the demands once you're there are you know, just as stringent. So these guys are up against a lot. And you know, I've often asked myself, what have I done or what can I do to help these kids out the most. And I really think more than anything, what, if I have helped them at all, is I really believe in these kids and I really believe in their dreams. Uh, their, you know, their dreams about, you know, what th they want to do for their lives, you know, for the rest of their lives, 
and it's remarkable that even under the stress of the ac academic demands that they have, you know, that they have a dream to succeed athletically. And it's especially remarkable in that we really don't get a lot of really um, talented athletes, you know, physically talented athletes. But, we, but I do consider them athletes, you know, because they bring everything else to the table, the dedication, like all the cliches that you can talk about, these kids have it. And, um, you know, we've had our share of All-Americans and even national champions, but along with that, I think the thing that I'm most proud of, in fact, I know it's what I'm most proud of with the program, is that all the kids buy into it. You know, a good example of that would be um, a guy on our team who is our 35th guy out of 35 guys on the cross country team is a kid who's a 3.9 um, student out of 4.039 GPA, double major in philosophy and math. And, you know, with a guy, you know, like under that academic stress, um, and I realize it's not unique, like all you guys have, have kids like this, and, um, but it, still when, when I look at it, to see that a kid like this is running 85 to 90 miles every week, knowing that he's never gonna make a direct contribution to the success of our program, but indirectly, that's why you know, we, we as a, a team have had the success that we've had, you know, it's because everyone buys into it. So I guess uh, to end this, you know, like, you know, I, I just want to thank those kids because anything that I have been able to give to them, I've received back hundreds of times over. And this is really about them, but I'm very, very proud to accept this uh, award on their behalf and, you know, on the behalf of our, our other coaches. Thank you very much. Presenting the Hall of Fame Award, Villanova head cross country coach and track and field coach, four-time Olympian Marcus O'Sullivan.